Okay, so I'm starting recording okay. now. And the speaker view. So most of the questions had to do with obviously the my plate. Yeah, on my plate, I went to it at first and I figured out that you put in your age and specs um, and that it would give you your calorie count. Um, but then it looked like that was it. Yeah. So and while so, you, well, let me let me go to it while you're um, okay. Chat yeah. right, so that we have it. Um, yeah. So I did find out that you can click on the calorie counts and it'll bring you to the yeah food and I'm, I'm gonna servings. Go to, I'm gonna go to Brightspace as a learner first. Great. Because seeing it from my angle might be a little bit different, right? So. So yeah, I mean, the, the goal is to be able to create this meal plan, but to orient yourself with my plate, mm -hmm. right? So the reason why I sent this, so this this is an a, a announcement that I sent out, um, I guess yesterday. And I think this tool is a little bit more approachable. And I think that kind of hits on what you were saying, because it's hard to find the calories per se. My plate doesn't necessarily live in the world of calories. They're living in the world of food groups. Yeah, well, that's what I was wondering. It says, you know, these are how many calories you should have daily, and this is how to get them. And then I'm looking at the groups, and it'll say, for example, like three cups of dairy, which is a lot, by the way. <laughs> but, but also just thinking um, if it says... So it gives you the cal the caloric breakdown, but then it is giving you an option of really choosing any kinds of dairy or any kinds of fruits and vegetables, Absolutely. any kinds of proteins. Yes. But of course, like, you know, steak and fish don't have the same amount of calories. So how does that really That's, result in Well, it doesn't. You will resolve that. This is a great question. And um, so for because we're core recording, I'm just gonna repeat the question. Sure. Um, you know, it's challenging because the my play is, you know, it came out in 2010 as a goal for people to feel like there was, it was a little bit more approachable that you didn't have to necessarily count calories. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the whole point. The point of the plate is that you can just put your protein in a smaller section of your plate and just think of it as I'm going to eat a little bit less than a quarter of my plate is going to be, um, it's going to be protein foods. So, so the, the dietary guidelines don't live as much in nutrients. So a lot of people have been asking me about nutrients and calories. We, we do need a little bit of a range of calories. Otherwise, yeah, it can be kind of like, you know, shoot, for, shoot um, from the hip kind of thing. But we're not, um, we're not getting into the weeds with, with specific nutrients. That comes later in your uh, semester. Believe me, you're gonna get into the weeds, um, especially with the um, kidney disease menu. So okay. this is meant to think big picture. So and even no. though, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, even okay. even though it gives you the calorie base, it's still not. It's not trying to get you to specifically meet those calories. It's just saying this is about this amount of food groups. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That makes sense. Absolutely. I totally get that. I just wasn't sure. And it's, it, it is, it's meant to be a little bit wiggle, wiggly and a little bit squishy. And again, the approach is like, well, can you just eat more nutrient dense foods? And that's the whole point of how it's breaking it down. Hmm. So I'm going to walk through this um, you know, for the purposes okay. of, of the recording, but Katie, you might have some questions as, as we come on, but again, this is the link that I sent via the announcement, but just because it takes you, it's, it's a little bit of a more clear tool. Um, and you know, I, it's, it's giving you what is called my plate plan, which is new. This came out in the most recent, uh, USDA dietary guidelines, which is 2020 to 2025. So it literally just came out. Um, I think it, it was in January they released it sometime. It's all a lot. It's all like a blur this year. But um, nonetheless, it was, this is new. So you just go to it and I'm going to put in like a 
you know, sample person and we'll put in, um, okay, we'll choose 52 year old male. He is, uh, two, you can see I've done this a few times, 215 <laughs> pounds, um, six, let's say six, two. And physical activity is important, right? Especially when you're working with people that are extremely uh, physically active, extremely sedentary. Mm -hmm. um, this can be kind of, it's, it's, it's vague what activity means, right? So some, uh, a nurse might feel like, well, I, I do more than 60 minutes a day of moderate activity because I'm on my feet all day. Well, the goal is, you know, are you out of breath? Are you, is your heart rate up? So yeah, the, that nurse is, is on their feet all day, but they might be just, you know, standing in a computer um, kiosk, typing up notes um, on their patient. So, you know, kind of thinking about moderate activity is getting that heart rate up. So this guy um, we'll, call, we'll call Joel is a 30 to 60 minutes. So we'll, then we'll calculate the food plan and it comes up with um, 2,600 to achieve a healthy weight, 3,000 to maintain. So that's the other, that's also a new thing with my plate is they actually give calculations um, for weight loss. So they've identified that he has a higher mm -hmm. BMI and are making recommendations that he chooses a lower calorie. Does it go the other way ever if somebody has no. a lower BMI? Hmm. Okay, so if you click on that, right, we're going to click into the weight loss. You can choose either and it breaks it down to all these food groups. Mm -hmm. And as Kate, as Kate has, um, mentioned, right, it's, mm -hmm. it's a big difference between one cup of fruit juice and, you know, a half a cup of dried fruit in terms of calories. So the calories is 2,600, but really, you know, they, they don't do ranges, but you see 2,600 is an exact number. So the way that I kind of uh, say it is, is, you know, plus or minus 10%. That's a good rule of, rule of thumb. And it's always going to be that because no one is ever going to get to exactly 2,600 calories unless they're in a, um, a, a, biometric bubble and they're literally calculating every single uh, gram of food that they're putting into their mouth, which mm -hmm. has happened, but not in this world, especially mm -hmm. in the dietary guidelines world where it's again, a little bit um, more wiggly. So they make recommendations, two cups of fruit, six and a half ounces, again, for 2,600 calories, six and a half ounces of protein, three and a half cups of vegetables, three cups of dairy and nine ounces of grain. Now, what it does is if you could click on each one of those, it explains more of the serving size. But you'll see if you really um, hone this down, it kind of goes back to looking at that plate because six and a half ounces is not a lot of protein, but it's, it's meant to fit into that smaller quarter. Hmm. So the goal for this assignment is to take these right and build a, a meal plan just a day mm -hmm. like and one of the instructions on the meal plan or uh, sorry on the assignment is to build the meal plan so it doesn't go over so we don't want to grossly go over any of these i was working i'm working on another class and somebody had um instead of six and a half ounces of protein they had it was something like 6d I mean, it's like 454 percent of their protein Right, so you know, eh, obviously we don't go, want to go that high, um, but we want to try to stay in this range because the goal is to yes meet your nutrient level, but all, um, macronutrient level, but also um, my plate. The foundation of my plate is balance, and so if you're skewing skewing more on any of these, even it's like well, but I do better with vegetables and fruits build a plan like it's best for you, but, but maybe you don't like Kata mentioned dairy. Maybe you don't do a lot of dairy, then maybe try to find some different dairy items that, that, um, fit and keep in mind, it's a dairy group. I had, um, anticipated that they would change the name from dairy to mm -hmm. something else in this, uh, in this round of dietary guidelines. They did not, um, thought they were going to say something of the line. I mean, it's, it's intended to be there for calcium, right? So any, if you notice there's soy milk, um, soy yogurt, but there's a lot of pla other plant-based, uh, mm -hmm. food items that would fit into that category, right? They're, so they're, you're looking for fortified. 
that exactly. have like AK fortified with calcium exactly. and maybe D. So it's, it's, yeah. it's it, the calcium is the magic here. Obviously vitamin D is going to be good too. Um, Cause most of your milks are, are most of your regular cow milk is fortified with, with vitamin D. Um, mm -hmm. Most plant-based milks are trying to fortify with vitamin B12 um, as well, but we're really looking for the calcium because this, this group, according to the USDA dietary guidelines, this group is fundamentally about Americans need to get enough calcium mm -hmm. because most Americans do not actually. So dairy should, should almost have a, a miss, a little disclaimer about this is about calcium. Yeah. And that's, and I actually, into, I thought that that's what's going to happen because yeah. there's been such a shift in this, in, in, in the food um, supply to more plant-based for so many pe more people, but nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So those were the big questions. Um, so really you're building your meal plan around this. You know, I mean, if you do nine and a half or 10 ounces of grain, that's not a big deal. If you're doing 19 ounces of grain, then I'm going to say, Hey, that's, that's not, um, you know, that doesn't fall within the guidelines. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's, it's menu planning light. And I say that because we're not, um, analyzing nutrients yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will get there, but this is more to familiar, familiarize yourself with my plate to get um, used to the different um, food groups. So that's really the goal here. Eventually, so things, yeah, go ahead. Things like vegetables and fruits being allowed juices as a stand-in for some of the dietary intake is kind of confusing because I'm like we're looking at dairy and thinking, okay, this is related to calcium. We're looking at fruits and vegetables and maybe grains and thinking this should be related to fibers and then it's maybe not. So what's the real goal there? It's a combination of, of the nutrients. any of the micronutrients plus fiber. So, and, and you know, again, one of the um, complaints by many dietitians is they haven't said whole grains group. They're just saying grains group. Right. So they're trying to, they as in the scientists and um, health uh, experts that get together for the, for the entire year and, and, you know, hone down all of the uh, guidelines and they mm -hmm. um, put them out. And, and so, you know, the thought was, well, why didn't we go to the whole, why didn't do we do whole grains? Mm -hmm. well, we didn't do whole grains because um, we're trying to capture as many people as possible. And you'll see, once you go in here, it'll, it'll say whole grains are better. So okay. it'll say, you know, I'll never say um, whole vegetables are better, but it's, and at this point, especially for most Americans, because keep in mind, only mm -hmm. one in 10, this is a, this is, you know, an actual um, concrete number, one in 10, i.e. 10% 10 of, of Americans get enough of their fruits and vegetables per day. Mm -hmm. So well, the I'm government, it is, it does seem like a lot, right? Like I, I five cups, yeah. think I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I don't actually I don't think I actually get to that every day. And that's kind of alarming. If you go back, it's like half your plate, right? Mm -hmm. And more pr predominantly more vegetables. Mm -hmm. So, and mo because most Americans are not getting enough vegetables and fruits, the U S government's like, okay, if you can do fruit, fruit juice, if you can do vegetable juice, yes. Okay. And you, then you yeah. also, you as a teacher know, you know, I mean, in terms of school, food service, which we'll do in, I think the last week or next to last week in this, um, in this class. Yeah. Fruit juice, <laughs> give them, give them a half a cup, um, of fruit juice. It's a half a cup, uh, that gets served in school nutrition. Um, that counts as your half, half equivalent of fruit. Mm -hmm. It's shelf stable. Mm hmm um, you know, it's, it's easy to, to it's portable. So, I mean, there's so many other implications here. So this is really meant to be a broad stroke. And as you guys, which you're already coming in very interested in nutrition, you, you, you know, you're seeing a little, recognizing some of the challenges with this, but it is meant to be very broad. And one of the biggest things I will say, and I, I, when I teach about the dietary guidelines, I will, in my play, I think one of the biggest challenges, especially um in diverse groups is that you know you don't really have ethnic foods or mixed foods that fit in easily here so mm -hmm. how do you how do you build out a lasagna 
Um, how do you build out an enchilada? You know, it's those those are challenges too. And I'm sure everyone in this class, especially if you're you know record if we're viewing the recording, thinking about how there's a food that doesn't quite fit. Well, then you kind of try in your mind to kind of you know pull it apart. <clears throat> we will get there in terms of looking at the nutrients, but for now we're focusing on the food group. Um, with that, I want to just um, go, this is, let's see if it'll let me, I wanna do a, come on. I'm trying to get to a place where I can do a new, um, like, hmm. there we go. Now let's see. There we go. My, there we go. Okay. So Harvard has a. Um, wait, do you see this? Can you see this? Because sometimes when. Yep. Okay. So Harvard has a healthy eating plate. And I mentioned this because I'm recording and I think this is a great fun. Right. They have a healthy eating plate and it's quite different than the um, my plate in that they do say mm. whole grains, right? They do specify. They actually, what's, do you notice what's missing here? Dairy. Yeah. So yeah. they don't, they don't put dairy. They actually say avoid sugary drinks and drink water, tea or coffee with no sugar. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fruits is even reduced even more. Um, vegetables is even bigger and they specify potatoes and French fries don't count. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so in, in, in Harvard, I've actually looked at these before they have a vegan plate, a vegetarian plate. Is that them? Yeah. 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 And, and oh, they good. say healthy protein because, you know, to your point, you could be eating steak or you could be eating fish. You could be eating, you know, sausage or you could be eating nuts. I mean, it mm -hmm. doesn't specify. So um, what Harvard d did was take my plate and kind of honed it down to say, okay, if you really want to be healthy, this is a, a probably a better visual because my plate also does excludes um, oils. So you'll see it it mm. it doesn't have any any fats here. Okay. So all of those things take into consideration. Mm. I just mentioned this because it's kind of fun and interesting. Yeah. No, that is it's it's cool, but it is kind of confusing. Okay. Harvard says. Healthy oil is good. USDA says no. Um, and and what about this Harvard plate? What is their plan for calcium? Is it worked in at all? Well, the goal they don't really say it here, but the goal is you're getting your calcium from your vegetables. Okay. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's mm -hmm. there are many other cultures that at or tofu, right? Yeah. So there are many other ca cultures that that's what they're doing. That's how they're getting their calcium. So. Um, and there's huge lists of, of that. So, um, all right. So I am at this point, I am going to stop sharing. Did you think, could you think as we review that, could you think of any other questions? I think that's great on clarification for the assignment. Okay. With that there, I wanted to clarify for the discussion because everybody mm -hmm. was asking about what you know at what at what kind of nutrients should I talk about and I'm going to send an announcement later today but it's important to do to cover macronutrients right now I think is you know the, the go big and then we can hone in on we're going to get further down into micronutrients eventually okay. but macronutrients your proteins your carbohydrates your fats for this discussion I'll send an announcement but for this recording I figured I'd mention it as well okay I did think it was interesting how the book talks about water as a vital nutrient and how we really don't spend a lot of time thinking about how that works. But. And eventually there's going to be accessibility challenges with that. And it's such a vital nutrient. We were, we were literally Crazy. watching the Today Show yesterday and they were covering um, a Coca-Cola plant in Mexico and how the, the community is starving for water because Coca-Cola is using up all the water and all of the residents are like, they don't have enough water and it's actually forcing them to drink more Coca-Cola. Wow, that is so, sick. Yeah, so it's it's really amazing yeah. you know, in, in terms of it being, a, it's it's an essential nutrient, but you know, accessibility to that is, is gonna, is quite challenging for some people. Yeah, and I mean, and that connects to, to just the, the work of eating good food that's constantly changing and, and 
your accessibility to good food and and like even further into you know how much good food do we have when we use up all the soil nutrients and all that stuff and I feel like it's just endless well and that and that's a big part of why the USDA dietary guidelines keep and even Harvard really emphasizes getting uh, very varied you know don't eat just mm -hmm. the same you know have a let lettuce every day and 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 what mm -hmm. I don't know, peppers when you say peppers like get a, a get a variety of colors get a variety of produce and then you are you are able to um, achieve that a little bit better right okay yeah um, well, thank you for your questions. I think I covered everybody's questions um, that I got via email and um, I'm glad you came by. Thank you. Yeah. And um, just mention it uh, starting next week. I'll, I'll do after after work, um, 6 p.m. after uh, on Thursday nights. Okay. Um, I, I have I have a question that I'd love to ask. I don't know if it's about the assignment.